What in the world is that? Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be discussing plaster, delamination, and calcium nodules. What they are and what you can do about them. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and clicking the like button. Pool surface delamination can happen any time during the pool's life. I've seen delamination happen within the first year. Delamination is normally caused by poor plastering. It's when there's a bond failure between the gunite and plaster or surface that covers it. This bond failure creates a cavity or void between the two. Delamination can happen before you see calcium nodules. The surface has these micro cracks, these little pinholes in the surface. And when water gets in these cracks, it creates a tunnel beneath the surface. And the small void between the surface and gunite fills with water. It then transforms the soluble salt products in calcium to the surface, and that's where we see the calcium nodules form. This is more of a workmanship issue rather than a pool chemistry issue. It's not caused by your maintenance routine, cleaning schedule, or anything else that you do on a regular basis. We can't shock the pool or adjust the pH when delamination or calcium nodules form. Delamination and nodules can form anywhere on the pool surface. They can be on the sides or bottom. In the case of this pool, which was resurfaced only about four years ago, we can see delamination occurring on the deep end wall along with a pretty good size nodule. And there are more nodules on the midway wall and the steps. Delamination and nodules might be localized or in some bad cases, it may require the entire pool to be resurfaced. If you find yourself in this situation, it's best to call a local pool resurfacing company for estimates. For the cost, the most important factors are going to be your pool size, the materials that are used to fix the surface, and the extent of the damage. Now sometimes it can be a simple patch, but other times the entire surface might need to be corrected. If delamination and nodules are affecting a large area of your pool, your entire pool might need to be resurfaced. But that's something you should talk about with your pool resurfacing company. The good thing about pools is that delamination and calcium nodules can be very slow to develop. But on the other side, once they start, they usually don't stop. So if you suspect your pool has delamination or calcium nodules, call your local resurfacing company. I'm sure they can help.